You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Louie. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Louie news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues. Louis, Louis fanatics. Oh, I thought we were doing. We were passing the energy. Passing the energy. Welcome to <laughs> Juju Fridays. Uh, <laughs> Good juju's. <laughs> juju's. Uh, we'll explain that a little later. Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the Louis After Buzz podcast. Uh, of course, you know that uh, Louis season two has ended a couple months ago, so we have been recapping, watching season one uh, and season two, just random uh, favorite episodes, and kind of you know passing the time until Louis season three comes back uh, onto FX. Onto FX, which is still a station. On still a station TV. on Directv. You guys saved it's great. it. Oh, Halloween God. night got saved. I saw it on Twitter. I was like, yes. Yeah, I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter and I I emailed them. I sent out good vibes. I forgot to write. <laughs> like, I, I sent out my good juju vibes, and they were like, all right. FX is is one of my favorite networks. Yeah, so it's great. Louis, uh, it's always sunny. Like the league, the league uh, Sons of Anarchy. Like it has so American much American horror stories. American horror stories. stories. Don't let us forget DJ Jesse Janity uh, <laughs> joining us. Uh, so let's talk about uh, today's episode. We wa- we rewatched uh, the episode "Moving." <laughs> this place looks so sad. You had a thought of when you watched the show immediately when it ended. Oh yeah, as immediately uh, when it ended. You know, I've been doing the Lily podcast for uh, 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 Six two years. months. <laughs> Six years. <laughs> Six years. Um, it's funny because I initially, like, I enjoy Louis C.K. as a comedian. And I respect his career and, you know, all that jazz. But I never really got into his show as something that either left me feeling good or inspired me or, like, made me want more. But the more I'm watching it, the more I'm kind of connecting with him and his character and understanding, yeah. like, where his mind's coming from and the the flow of the show and... Uh, I could see, I could see how people who maybe don't watch this show don't really understand what to take away from it because, right. um, you know, now I'm starting to be able to relate to it on, on a much different level. Like, it's not that it leaves me with, you know, after I watch Modern Family and it's so funny and I'm just dying. I can't wait for next week. It doesn't leave me with that feeling, but I'm so interested in what's going to come next and next season's going right. to be. Even better, I know, you know, because it's just, he's, he's, uh, I feel like he's, even though he had the Louis show on HBO, I feel like on FX, he's finding a different voice for himself, finding his audience, and the response is coming out, you know, almost instantaneously with how connected he is to his fans through the internet, through, you know, just being out there and kind Were of you a fan of Louis CK uh, prior to the show or No, not Louis? necessarily. I mean, I knew who he was, but he wasn't someone that I would like if he was right. in town, I would have to go see. I mean, he's not still not like that, but he's not uh he wasn't someone that I was a yeah, huge fan he, of, but he, he's great. He's like one of my all-time favorites. Oh, yeah. So like when a show like well, actually, I was a I was a fan of Lucky Louis. I mean, it wasn't a good show. Mm-hmm. I you know, I, it wasn't um uh, it definitely wasn't his voice, but they let him, they let him like peak his voice a little bit. Like they let him like, yeah, you know, like he got yeah. to say uh, he had a whole episode uh, where he got in trouble of uh, because he called his wife a cunt, and that whole episode was just amazing. Because first off, so taboo, and then like even on HBO, like you don't hear that often, mm-hmm. and like the fact that like he he said that to her face and it was just it was just like i it blew the doors off my head i was like whoa oh my god yeah this is amazing and uh he uh 
there was this one line that uh, from Lucky Louie, from HBO's Lucky Louie, that I love. And um, it's uh, when his wife is trying to get pregnant. They want to have another kid. And he, he like, resists and resists. And he goes, she's like, why won't you have sex with me? Like, why won't you want to have a baby with me? Mm -hmm. And he goes, because your vagina is a cavern of economic, like, destitute or something like that. It was something to that to that effect of like he just yelled that in her face like you cuz your vagina is a cavern of like economic ruin. That's what it was. <laughs> and like that I was always like, "Oh my god, this guy's a genius." And then to stand up, of course. Yeah. Uh, I've been a huge fan of, so. It's great because you don't get to see, you know, there's a million guys doing stand up and even, a million. Even a, literally yeah. a million. If you think about even like five seven years ago when he was really touring a lot and doing just the stand-up like the grungy clubs and the 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 site that you don't yeah. see televised the site that you don't see from these guys that have come up like uh that get their own tv shows um he was working that grind but at the same time i'm sure he was writing thinking about filming the fact that he edits his own show he's been editing for you know some time so i i like seeing not necessarily him as an underdog, but as an underdog in other aspects of his creative process, be able to right. produce his own things and get it out there the way that he wants it to. And I, that's what I love right. about the show and effects because they allow for well, that to happen. Well, here's the thing. Like, I was very like taken back by HBO when they... First of all, they canceled it. I still don't think it should have been canceled, personally. I don't think that that should have happened. I felt like, even though it wasn't amazing, I still... A couple more seasons, at least. Mm -hmm. Um, but they put it in sitcom form. It was a multicam for HBO. It was like odd. Um, yeah. But you know, it was him. For those who don't him know as, what multicam is, yeah, it's, it's when you have a live studio audience, correct? Uh, not so much. No. It's just uh, it's, it's the, three cam, three to four cams, cameras. Uh, edited like shot like a play, almost. Shot like, yeah. Like if, Sitcoms. if it's on a stage, Big Bang Theory, yeah, it has a stage. This is one, a single cam. His single show cam. on FX is that's single what cam, gives locations. it a slightly different feel. Exactly, a little more real feel. Exactly, and so like with with Lucky Louie, they had, uh, you know, it was definitely had writers. I definitely had, like, let's take Louis C.K. and put him in this situation, and they had him married with a daughter and then he had his boys at the at like the bar or like the truck stop or whatever and mm -hmm. people that he worked with and so it was like kind of forcing Louis into this into this like life of the working man and then the his personality seeps through and then that's the show mm -hmm. here fx gave him complete control the reins are his and i feel like that the success of the show and, and here's the thing. I don't understand why other networks don't do this. Like, they're so rigid and so, like, worried. Like Yeah, like, F I feel like FX is probably one of the best television sh uh, channels on air right now. Because AMC it's funny that, drama. yeah, AMC's, AMC's doing the same thing with allowing their own, for drama, you, that yeah. content's coming up. But if you think about it, like, as soon as American Idol got popular, everybody had a singing show. Yeah. As soon as, like, you know, Real Housewives got popular, everyone yeah. has a Housewives show. It's like, why don't you look at this formula and see how these shows have gained an audience, have staying power, actually right. offer something back to their audience, you know? And exactly. it's not just, like, what's hot this season. It's, it, it's They're allowing for all of these guys to develop this network and it's and it's bringing all, exactly. all those it, people that these other channels are just shoving off yeah the, it's always sunny crew like they did their show yeah you know and then we you know they let them do it their way cast it their way and look at it you know it's been running for years now and it's still actually tomorrow charlie day host snl yeah. Yeah. Wow. Finally, I November 5th, I was yeah. waiting for him to get famous. I can't famous. wait. He was I, great in Horrible Bosses, but back to Luke. <laughs> <laughs> segue. Back segue. to Luke. <laughs> oh, no, so, I mean, you know, it's it's all on topic. It's it's geniuses letting like being given the opportunity mm -hmm. to to bring TV that we all want to watch, and like you look at a show like Whitney, you know, and and I've bashed it enough off the air. I love Whitney Cummings. She's a great comedian. But that's so. That show is it, you could. It's so heartless. It's so sitcommy and so not 
not interesting to watch it. Not, and now, not do you play. think like, that maybe trying. maybe they're doing that same thing with her that they were doing? I like, think yeah, so. They I'll give her that give benefit. Her a formula, and they're like, you have to fit yourself in here. Somehow. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Oh, totally. I'm not gonna go on, on and say like Whitney Cummings isn't great. She, you know, her other show, uh, uh, Two Broke Girls, is doing really well, and I think it's really funny. And it has a friend of mine, Beth Bears, and she's wonderful on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I do think that NBC is like is kind of like dictating that show. It's like let's make it this style. Let's rehash old uh, premises and styles, and let's just insert. Two Bro Girls is on ABC, right? Uh, CBS. CBS. Oh, okay. Uh, and like you know, and I feel like they're inserting. Whitney's personality. It's weird. It's like let's take the formula of sitcoms and let's inject this comedian. So now Whitney Cummings mm -hmm. in the situations we've all seen, and you know it's like yeah. playing it safe. And then they spent a lot of money in advertising about a it. lot. I, I I mean yeah they did. Yeah. But you know but like but this like you know it's not all. It, it, here's the thing. It's not always funny. Like Louis, it, it's no. hilarious when it needs to be, and then it it kind of just sucked us in, and especially with moving. Like God, the, I just moved. Actually, you did. <laughs> I moved next door. The uh, technically, it's the same building, but there's no way to get to the other building from the inside. But on the outside, it looks like it's all one. I moved next door to the fifth floor, so I have this amazing view. It's insane. But what I what I moved from the first floor to the fifth floor. What I didn't do was hire movers. So because you could have asked me. You didn't but ask me. I uh well, I had some friends come help me, but I only got like two or three boxes cuz my the idea in my head was, "Oh, I'm just going to go set it up exactly how, you know, my room is now. Like I'm going to go uh -huh. and bring my kitchen stuff and just go put it up and then Hell no. That got <laughs> so uh, boring after the th third day. Uh, so annoying after the third day. One, the elevator is one of those uh, like 1920s elevators that has the door and the wood yeah. door that comes. And that wood door is heavy. So to have a dolly with the boxes on there and then you got to hold the door open, it was just like a nightmare. And it fit me in one box and I'm a small girl. It was like, you know, oh, wow. a tuna can of an <laughs> elevator. But uh, finally I got moved out. So, But I... I can't imagine, you know, he's probably lived in this house that they show in the beginning clip when he's moving the desk. For you know, he's lived there for years. And and with his ex wife. Yeah. So So there's just I can't imagine the things that he would have to go through. Yeah. Mine was just an accumulation of well, from when I moved from Texas, but just over the year, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. To have had a home for, you know, decades even or you know, it's just that's that's gonna be insane. But I love how um he had like an unrealistic view of how much money he had. <laughs> like I had a good year, yeah. You know, and and that kind of dives us in. Like, and we were talking about money earlier too. Like, like what are you gonna do with your first million? Like, what are you gonna do? You know, as yeah. as actors and comedians, we want to get there. I okay. and we, we don't have kids. Neither I don't think you do. You did, did you have kids? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't have kids. Um, <laughs> no, I don't so have like, kids. So, you know, like, I, I can't even imagine, like, like I'd love to give my my kids the best home where oh, they can yeah. grow up in. You know, and, and, and Louis took us there as, like, a dad who can't really afford it. But, like, it, it, he, he left us with this, like, determined, like, I'm going to get this house. You yeah, know? And my kids are going to play outside in the garden. Exactly. I'm going to grill and watch them play. Yeah, and, you know. and then showing how bad the other places are. Like, it, it was... It was like comedically bad, but like you know, sometimes you you've gone. That is true. It is like you're like really this place cannot. Who could live in yeah. this place? Yeah. You know, like it's like living rooms are that small or room spaces are that small, but mm -hmm. you know, people, you know, and they, and they're expensive, especially here in L. A. Oh like, yeah, and, and well, and even in New York, that one where it just goes through the kitchen into a wall. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably like three thousand dollars a month. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is, and. You know, and I, I mean, I don't think there's. I well, they definitely don't show in in season one or two, him getting it. But like, Louis is maybe like he's just revisiting, like points in his life during his career. Mm -hmm. Though, like, I'm sure he's had a point where it's like he's the journey. This is this is yeah. all about the journey. You know, like, exactly. Even in my one year being here, I have ideas that I could poke fun at myself and you know make into a sketch make into something that I get put it on funny or die or uh you know but this is like that's exactly where he's pulling from is him coming up 
all these years, you know, he's experienced, I'm sure, crazy situations and yeah. more humbling situations, like just trying to find a home, you exactly. know, with the, his lifestyle that he has at the moment, you know, being a divorced single dad, plus this the nightlife of being a comedian, you know, uh, as a career and the non monetary <laughs> uh, following that that has sometimes on a lighter note todd berry uh todd berry for those uh who watched this episode he's the comedian who when louis looking in the newspaper for like a different apartments he's just like staring him down louis obviously focus in like finding a new place yeah and he's like i'm gonna eat your mom's asshole <laughs> Hey, just I have an idea. Him. Like, I'm gonna fill up a bathtub full of homeless diarrhea and dip your mom, your mom in it. And like, just like, like, <laughs> I've. I mean, I love. I just love that. Like, even in like, yeah, he's not gonna react to it because like, when you do bits, when you have comedian friends, like you do, you treat each other like shit. I know, yeah. You do bits at the most inappropriate times, and sometimes it's you're just not immune to it, but you're just like, I'm busy doing something, and I know I hear a bit, but it's like, I'm not going to get a fe- take offense to it. It's just like, okay, yeah, I don't have time right now, dude. Yeah, just <laughs> tell me how cool. much my mom sucks later. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah, just call yeah, yeah. me, and, and we'll continue this some other day. Like, What I thought was funny also in this episode was when they were looking at the house, um... <laughs> and he's looking outside the window at the view and there's the bum standing on the sewer yeah. and the black car comes up and <laughs> trades out bums like there's some kind of secret agent black uh, ops like bum experimenting going on they just trade out the bum which was never explained I'm sure that has happened I feel like he's seen that yeah. situation well, before I lived uh, uh, with my buddy Colton Dunn mm-hmm. um, off Sunset there, there's a house that in the comedy community is called Camp Hollywood uh, a lot of awesome comedians have lived there. Um, and w- I lived there for a couple months. And outside of your window, like, you see some some screwed up stuff. Mm-hmm. My first night, there was, like, a Russian couple, like, breaking up and getting back together, like, walking up and down the street. I was just on the porch, just, like, drinking a beer, just hanging out. Kind of like, yeah, I'm finally settled in. Mm-hmm. Just gonna hang out. I have the house to myself. Colton like was out with some buddies, and I was just like hanging out, and like just watching like this couple like like in Russian. Like I identified it as Russian. <laughs> like come into did you what... shazam? <laughs> you shazam? They're like, what language is this? Shazam? Yeah, uh-huh. thanks. All right. <laughs> like like uh, they come out from like because it's like bushes, and then you they came into the street yelling. And like fighting, and then the guy's like walking away, like not having it. Then he comes back, holds her, and like they just like it's all passionate. It's all passionate. It's all and then, Russian, like soap opera. And I don't know what they're saying. And then she like hits him like on his chest. He tries to kiss her. She pulls away. They both leave opposite way. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Now it's not as as creepy as like a, a homeless man being replaced uh, by a but, but it's that's like, just strange. But like like. Hookers have walked up to our doors. Oh, yeah. A homeless guy was asking if we had a room for rent, and we're like, "What? Get off my porch! What mm. are you talking about?" And so when you live in these places, the craziest thing that you would never think happen happens. So I'm sure he saw. I'm, I'm sure he yeah, saw that. Definitely, especially New York. I feel oh like, yeah, I feel I like that could happen in New any. New, I, could, I feel like that could have been the most affluent neighborhood, and that still would have happened. You know, like, <laughs> it's a little bit different. Um, I don't have any crazy stories of me seeing people. But I was walking home one day, and it was not near Halloween. It was maybe two or three months ago. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., there's a couple of bars. I live by, uh, if anyone in Los Angeles knows, I, need, I live by the Dresden um, in Los Feliz. And, and so there's, like, the Dresden's there, public house, you know, the movie theater, Figaro, all those places are open late at yeah. night. And so I feel pretty safe coming home at 2. <laughs> and this guy, full-on Charlie Chaplin, like, <laughs> mustache, carrying the cane and swinging it like nice. hat and everything walking pigeon toed and I was like alright I'm just gonna cross the street and just uh, be normal if anything happens I will scream loud <laughs> like, but nothing happened it was he we made eye contact he was in character I don't know where he was coming from or what going to what if it to. was like Charlie Chaplin like, like the he, ghost yeah 
And he was he's trying just, to communicate with me. He's just he just want to go to the Dresden. Oh but yeah, like, <laughs> he just want to hang out. Yeah, and you know he scared you, but he didn't mean to. Uh, he's just being his, his own self. I was just like, what is going on? It's, middle, it's like the middle <laughs> of August. Is this Charlie Chaplin really walking across the street right now? And it's not in an area where it's like you see the costumes of. You know the people that are down in Hollywood Boulevard or anything like that. Oh yeah, it's, it's, not, just like, it's not Hollywood and Highland. No, yeah. It, this guy's off the tourist. This trap. guy's off the grid. He's yeah. in Hipsterville and he's and like walking around. Maybe he's just he's probably in a band. He's probably some some dude. I don't know. Taking UCB classes. Yeah, yeah, out. right. Uh, we're gonna take a quick uh, commercial break. DJ Jazzy Janity. Jesse Janity. Energy. Energy. The biggest new media platform on the web just got bigger. More bandwidth, smoother streaming, lightning, fast download. And get technical with me. After Buzz TV is making the jump to hyperspace. Uh, Join the fun at your number one source for after show entertainment. Look at the size of that thing. After Buzz TV. And where? Back attack, here we go. Not black, but she's black, and that's okay because it's not whack. No, nope. uh, I want Louis to freestyle. Yeah, can we get Louis to rap? <laughs> we'll send it into them, we'll send it into FX. Louis. Um, but like the style of the show, like here's something that I've always touched upon uh, watching the show. Like when when he is looking at his dream house or all of our dream houses, mm-hmm. uh, and they are in the garden. Uh, and like, he he starts like having an outer body experience. outer body experience, and like you the the realtor starts like saying things that are so convincing, but that is clearly is just in Louis's in mind. his head. Yeah, like if you buy this, your, your daughter, gr- your girls will love you. Yeah, your wife will love you. You'll respect you exactly. You'll be their favorite. Yeah. This, this is, is way better. Than, everything. Yeah, it's way better than their mom's house. <laughs> yeah, they'll love it more. Uh, and I love that. Is that transition was seamless, by the way, of, from her actually yeah. telling selling points. You know, this is this, the facts, the square footage in the garden, and everything. And then she's like goes into this rant about how much better it is than <coughs> his ex wife's house. And then they start dancing, and then the jazz. Like Louis has an um, impeccable taste in music. Yeah. Like he's editing it himself, story, and yeah. I know Reggie Watts also adds to like I think he's a music supervisor. He oh, okay. also composes on the show. Nice, uh, but just the choice of music, like it, 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 it's, and when it, it feels hits. like New York. And when it, yeah, you know what I mean, like. And when it hits, you know, you feel. That's what I was. That's what I was, you know, saying earlier about how it's not like my absolute favorite show because it leaves me feeling like, uh, like something like The Simpsons or Modern Family does as far as comedy goes. But it is it does bring you in and that's one key element is the score and the timing of it. You know, like yeah. when he's sitting on the stairs right before the credits yeah. roll and he's got that jazzy like, you know, feels like a seventies opening shot to some kind of seventies New York exactly. thing. Like real serene and chill and like it, it, he's like, You're gonna I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna get this house. And you know, it was left unresolved. And mm-hmm. and like uh talking because I, I we did the uh the league last night we did that show i haven't seen it yet and it was that also was left unresolved but it was left unresolved the episode was left unresolved in a way that was a little jarring and we didn't like it louis often leaves his vignettes or his little storylines unresolved because it's a continuation of his life and yet it's still he does it classy like i i I can't wait to see what happens or maybe one day revisit if he gets the house Mm -hmm. or or what he learned or what other path he took because this house came to his life and he wants to have it for his daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, like, him even not resolving the episode, I still was okay with it. As opposed to other shows with a more of a formula. Yeah, that- I feel like that he's, can, he can get away with it and people um, yeah. forgive that because of the structure of the show and you know it's not going to be the same topic the next time or it might not be a straight continuation. But... Exactly. Definitely, he could revisit that. You never know what's gonna happen. So, season three, man, I'm excited now. I've like become a big fan. That's that's the you know that's the only prediction we can have is that FX picked it up for another season. We can't wait. It had an Emmy nomination, which I thought was very well deserved. Yeah. Hopefully, that success in season two also gets nominated for something, and uh, we're gonna keep on watching more Louis as the weeks come. So uh, you can find uh, me at. Twitter, my Twitter at Gian Molina. 
Shannon, where can we find you? And I have a Twitter also, uh, Shannon J. Rogers. And you can always find us here at After Buzz TV. Um, yeah, make sure all the ways you can find us. Find us on Facebook. Uh, we're on Ustream, After Buzz TV. Find us everywhere. iTunes. Uh, we love you. <laughs> From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire After Buzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the After Buzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz you later. later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.